Welcome to Electron Line. Sometimes you will see graphs that are absorption graphs, the absorption spectrum, and sometimes you'll see transmission graphs, the transmittance of a particular uh, frequency or wavelength. So what we're going to do now is turn the tables from the previous video and take a look at the transmittance of the energy coming from the surface of the Earth when we have carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And in this case, we're going to take carbon dioxide levels at about 400 parts per million, which are close to the current levels. And so what we're going to look at is, for the various wave numbers, or for the various wavelengths, what kind of transmission do we have? At an elevation of one meter above the surface, what percent of all the radiation of these particular wavelengths or wave numbers will reach that point without being absorbed? That's essentially what we're looking for. Notice, at 15 micrometers, right here we have the bending mode, the, the quantum mechanic bending mode of the carbon dioxide molecule. Almost none of the radiation reaches a height of one meter before it's absorbed because carbon dioxide is very good at absorbing that particular uh, frequency of that particular wave number. Now, to the side of that, we have the two side lobes. We have the P branch and we have the R branch, and you can see by the time the radiation from the surface reaches a height of one meter, and that's what we have indicated over there at one meter, 58% of the radiation makes it that high on the left side here, and 49% of the radiation makes it a high, the rest of it is absorbed. So the numbers we see here are transmission numbers, the amount of radiation from 100% leaving the surface that reaches at least one meter in height without being absorbed. To the left and to the right, you can see that virtually 100% of the radiation reaches one meter because the effectiveness of carbon dioxide in absorbing those wavelengths is much less than it is in this particular range. So between 16 and 14 micrometers, most of that radiation is affected by carbon dioxide to the levels that you see here. Now the 58% and 49% transmittance up to one meter is only at these peaks right here. You can see to the left and to the right here that those numbers reach close to 100. We have a small little peak here and here and another small side lobe, another small P branch and a small R branch that indicates that there as well carbon dioxide absorbs the energy but at much smaller probability it's much smaller likelihood than it is in these particular ranges right here between 14 and 16 micrometers. So when we take a look at a transmittance curve or a transmission curve, it's the amount of radiation that makes it that high without being absorbed. So in this case, how much radiation makes it one meter without being absorbed? 58% over here, 49% there, and virtually 100% to the either side of that range between 14 and 16 micrometers. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a look and see how that changes as we go higher and higher and higher in the atmosphere to see the effectiveness of the carbon dioxide molecule in absorbing the radiation. In other words, we're going to take a look at it in terms of how much gets transmitted without being absorbed to that particular altitude. And that's how it's done.